As the primary caretaker to her mother, Tachia Dillard was a first-hand witness to the devastating effects of breast cancer. A few years after her mother succumbed to the disease, Tachia herself received the same diagnosis. Her lack of health insurance made her journey that much more difficult. Then, she found St. Joseph's Candler St. Mary's Health Center, which brought her to the Telfair Mammography Fund. I didn't have any insurance, so I was trying to find out different places to go. And one of my friends told me about St. Mary's. Knowing what her history was, her family history, um, it, it does make it that much more difficult to give someone that news and um, go through the education process so that they understand what they're dealing with. Um, and we weren't able to do that the first day with um, Tachia just because, you know, she was so overwhelmed, which is natural. My, mom, my mom's breast cancer was terminal. Um, she actually had the breast cancer that spread, so it from, went from her brain, me, her breast to her brain, so, and she passed from it. So, uh, it's sort of different when you're taking care of somebody um, having breast cancer, you know, you just see their, what they're going through, but when it's your own personal journey, you, it's just something that you can't imagine. And even the day she came in, um, she kept her sunglasses on, she didn't want to really have even eye contact with us and I truly was worried about her that you know were we going to lose this patient to um, you know refusing treatment or not coming back just for the fear of what she might experience. It's a scary. It, it, it. Mm. It's a scary situation and you just pray that hope for the best. Yeah. Um, the second time she came in, um, it was a little bit better, but she still wouldn't look at us. And um, I know I was with Dr. Usher and he said, I need to see your eyes. You know, and that was, I think, the second visit, the first time we really saw her eyes. And we said, we're not going to leave you. You know, we're going to get you through this. At first I said, I know the ending of this all, so I almost didn't go through with the whole treatment situation. It was very soon, very clear to me, just, you know, how much her family means to her, and she just couldn't bear to, to give them that news. It was not even about her at that point. It was immediately, you know, about her children, and um, having them to accept yet another cancer diagnosis in the immediate family. As bad as it was for me, they made the situation a bit better. They called, they checked on me, and like I said, they got with me with Dr. Usher, being that I didn't have any insurance. So, uh, I mean, at this point, you know, they like my saving grace. The mammography fund is set up on um, a, a scale of, you know, that there's no insurance, what the financial need is, you know, so it's an application and patients are screened for eligibility. Uh, once they are cleared or approved, then whatever it is to get them to a diagnosis. So whether it's a benign cyst, that may be a diagnosis, or breast cancer. Whether it's a mammogram, an ultrasound, um, an ultrasound guided biopsy, a stereotactic biopsy, the MAMO Fund will support them in getting to that diagnosis. I've been working since I was 14 years old, but I just wasn't able to get the uh, help that I needed to have my mammogram done. Tachia is doing very well. Her breast cancer is responding to treatment. She just reassured me that, you know, my, my mom's situation not going to be my situation and I just have to uh, keep faith. Incredible and I know that that is thanks to all the people that she has experienced you know on her journey thus far. Her physicians, her nurses, in the infusion suite, um, you know the team all together. Oh I just want to thank St. Mary's and the Mammography Fund for, for helping me save my life. 
makes me feel better that tomorrow someone who has a problem and needs help with a breast problem, that there's going to be help there for them. Just keep with your mammograms and, and just your health every day. I mean, every day um, for us, for, for all women, you know, we need health is, should be a number one priority. And I know as a mom, you have children and you put them first, but if you're not healthy, you can't take care of anybody else. As she continues her personal journey of treatment and healing, Tachia Dillard remains confident, strong, hopeful, and above all else, grateful.